are not the same Brooklyn you knew. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2 video. Today marks one week until the full release of Chaos Theory Season 2 and of course, we're getting loads of new images released very lately. In the past two videos of mine in the last two days, we've had a total of seven new images released over the past week. But that's nothing compared to today's video as we have 15, yes 15, never before seen images finally released to give us a greater look at Chaos Theory Season 2. So if you're excited, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as we aim for 250,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you're looking for one place here on YouTube with all of the Jurassic news and information, then look no further as we cover every major release from the Jurassic franchise. With more new seasons of Chaos Theory, a brand new movie, and two major video games releasing in the next year and a bit, you're definitely going to want to stick around for a while as there's a lot coming to pique your curiosity for the franchise. But for now, focus in on Chaos Theory. Once you've liked the video, sat back, got some snacks, and enjoying your G Fuel after using code SWERVE to save 20%, it's time to check out these 15 new images from Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2. So kicking things off, we're going to go straight into our first image here and try to analyze it best we can. This image is a high definition version and a slightly alternate angle version from what we see in the trailer, where we get to see the campers on top of a hill, looking down to what seems to be some kind of farm, some ranch, we don't really entirely know. But this image consists of Sammy, Darius, Kenji, Ben, Yaz, and the brand new character called Zayna. If you want to know more about Zayna, then you're welcome to go ahead to check out a previous video where we discussed her in full detail. But this brand new image, whilst it doesn't showcase too much, is a nice high definition image. Continuing on with the character images for now, we have an image where we have Yasmina hugging Kenji from behind. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that the Yaz and Kenji friendship is actually very strong and they typically get on very, very well. Now, usually when the campers do hug, it means that something really nice has happened. So Kenji has probably done something to warm the heart of Yasmina in this image. The next image we have is Sammy and Yasmina, which seem to be in the container here, which we did discuss in yesterday's video. This window in the background looks exactly the same to the one that we get to see in the image that we discussed yesterday. So the one where we said, do not feed the dinosaurs, I guess is instead a container where it should say, do not feed the humans because they're in this container. The next image, oh boy, Monolophosaurus is back. Now this is really, really good. I loved the Monolophosaurus in Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous, but because of how amazing this show was and how amazing the Scorpius Rex was, I feel as though the Monolophosaurus was quite overshadowed in that season. But fear not, as these guys are returning in Season 2 of Chaos Theory. Now, judging by the looks of them, they seem to be the ones from Isla Nublar. Both Monolophosauruses have the exact same colour scheme. The Monolophosaurus was a secret production made by Dr. Wu in the secret area of Isla Nublar, so nobody really knew about it. So I can only presume that somebody, we don't entirely know who, went ahead and decided to purchase or steal these Monolophosauruses from somewhere, or someone. Obviously in Isla Nublar, so well, we need to know a little bit more of a backstory between these guys, but judging by the background, we can also see that they are in the same ranch that the campers were looking down on, and considering they both have collars, it's very safe to assume that these are probably kept in captivity, or maybe even as pets. They are carnivorous, but they're a little bit of a goofball, as we saw from Season 3. Either way, it's really nice to see these guys return. The next image depicts Zayna going face to face with a Gallimimus, which looks incredible. Incredible, by the way, the detail in this dinosaur looks amazing, which is something that, yes, it, they looked great in Camp Cretaceous, but not to this level of detail. It's incredible. However, this also supports a brand new color scheme for the Gallimimus, one of which we have never seen before. We know that the Gallimimus typically supports a beige or orange color, but it's either one or the other, not both. In this image, we get to see a splodge of orange covered by some beige as well, which is phenomenal. This is one of the very few skins that we have for the Gallimimus. 
However, what I really like about this image is that it's replicating a side-on shot that we typically see with Darius and Gallimimus, which we also get to see in Season 2 as well, but we also saw in Camp Cretaceous with these two, and it's also obviously mimicking the scene where we get to see Chris Pratt's Owen Grady with a Parasaurolophus in Jurassic World Dominion. Either way, I just feel as though this is a nice nudge. Now, these dinosaurs typically do freak out to some extent, obviously not so much with Darius, but it was still skittish, Maybe Zayna has some kind of connection with this Gallimimus, who knows. But that is further aided by the very next image where we get to see Zayna handing out... Now, I learned about these in school. These are some kind of African pots and I completely forgot the name. But I remember learning about these in school and I believe this is how they carry and contain some fruits and vegetables. So this is just a nice little cultural moment for Zayna and I presume her mother on the side as well, which again has another cooler container, so maybe some drinks in there. But this Gallimima seems to be just chilling with these campers with no real fear whatsoever, but we get to see a better look at that skin and looks amazing. So it is safe to say that this Gallimima seems to be domesticated to some extent. Now in the very next image we get to see a shot of presumably Zayna's mother backing up and protecting Yasmina and Sami. Now what's interesting is that they both have a different outfit here. So these two scenes must take time between each other for either Sami and Yasmina to change outfits one way or the other. But she is protecting them from something and I presume maybe the Gallimimus approached them very very quickly and her motherly instincts came in to protect the two campers. The next image, a shot that resembles the Lost World very, very well. Taking a look at it, we can see the Stegosauruses with Xena hidden amongst the long grass. Now one of them is bellowing, one of them is grazing, and the other one is looking at Xena with attention. Typically when these Stegosauruses do bellow, they don't really do this when there's no danger. Now considering the background and what we can see, and judging by what we already have image-wise, this is probably taking place just before the Tsukumimus does in fact approach these Stegosauruses, which we know is going to happen in Season 2. Nevertheless, this shot is phenomenal, and again, look at the wheat, look at the grass, it looks amazing. Now we jump back to Episode 1 of Season 2. In yesterday's video, I was very critical, suggesting that every single DreamWorks official posted image seems to only come from episode 1, so I am glad that we aren't just focused on episode 1 here, but with this image we are, and we have another shot of what seems to be maybe the captain of the boat, Darius, and the Majungasaurus. The Majungasaurus looks great, very fearful, but what's very interesting and more interesting about this image is that we have the captain and Darius together. Now the captain is aware that he is transporting dinosaurs, however, what he isn't aware of is the fact that he has stowaway campers on the boat as well. So it is very interesting to see that the captain is going to find out that the campers are also on the boat as well. Does he go ahead and notify people? Does he jump on the escape raft like the campers do? We don't know, we're just going to have to wait and see. The next shot showcases the Sukomimus, which seems to be a very prevalent threat throughout Season 2, because not only do we see it in Season 1, but we see it in the daytime of Season 2 and now the nighttime of Season 2. But here we get to see Kenji, Ben, Darius and Zayna. And the obvious distinction between these campers is the fact that Zayna is probably a lot younger than these campers. I'm talking maybe 13, 14 years old, whereas the campers are in their early to mid 20s. And I don't think we get to see it more obvious than in this shot right here. Nevertheless, seeing the Tsukumimus return and causing havoc once again is very, very fun. But you must be noticing, where is a specific camper that's been missing from the camp fam for quite some time? Fear not, because here's Brooklyn. Here we have Brooklyn with the best shot that we've ever had of her now stumped off arm, and this is one of the very few shots that we actually get to see her outside. Now, in the trailer we did get to see her outside being attacked by the Allosaurus, which we now presume to be an Atrociraptor, but also we get to see her driving about. This one seems to be a brand new vehicle of some kind. Now, the door is opening upwards, which doesn't typically happen unless it's a car, However, judging by the cockpit of this vehicle, we can quite clearly see it's very, very large. And since it is a cylinder type of shape, it's safe to say that this is some kind of aircraft. And, most likely, a private jet. This does not seem to be a commercial airliner whatsoever. So she is travelling somewhere via private jet. Maybe to meet the broker. But let's not forget that Sona Santos also delivered Maisie to Biosyn via private jet, which just adds to the theory that Sona Santos is the broker all along. Either way, this is still a really cool shot. 
But we don't stop there as we get to see another shot of Brooklyn here, which seems to be in the vehicle that we get to see in the trailer. Now, in the trailer, we get to see that she's more focused and angry considering what's going on around her with the Sinoceratopses, but here, she seems to just be reminiscing on something. Maybe this scene takes place just after a flashback where she's just gathering her thoughts. The next one is even more interesting as she seems to be in some kind of underground bunker and we get to see her pull in a fire alarm. Now, fire alarms are typically distractions unless they're used correctly to actually cover up a fire. So this is very hard to tell as we do know that fires do happen from what we can see in the season 2 trailer, but she also would like to pull a distraction as well. But for me, maybe she isn't working with the Liberation Now group and the person that set alight this building, she is now trying to set off the fire alarm to protect people or maybe even put out the fire herself. But she seems to be in the same bunker here as she's in some kind of control panel. The last time we saw this, I believe, was season 2 of Camp Cretaceous when the T-Rex was on Main Street and she was trying to navigate Sammy and Darius across Main Street to safety. But here we get to see that she's actually being very intelligent and not just letting her disability get to her advantage here. She's become very resourceful and decided to tie up her cut off arm to the remote where she can still control the remote by moving her arm about. So this is just a really nice thing to say that if you have a disability, don't let it get you down thinking that you can't do things because you can. And here is proof Brooklyn doing exactly that. Now she's wearing some kind of pendant on her chest here uh, that depicts a dinosaur of some kind. Now, I can't really tell what this dinosaur is. It looks like some kind of Amargosaurus, but also carnivorous at the same time. It's very hard to tell exactly what this creature might be, but I do believe that there is some dino nerd out there who can go to the comments and try to identify what creature this exactly is. And now we move on to the very last and best image in my opinion. Here we have an Atrociraptor. But not just any Atrociraptor. It is Red the Atrociraptor. The one that was missing from the Atrociraptor pack in Chaos Theory Season 1. As we know in Season 1 only 3 Atrociraptors appeared, but in Jurassic World Dominion we have 4 Atrociraptors. So we were wondering where is Red because he was the one that was missing. We get to see him in the trailer attacking Brooklyn, so we presume that this did take place in Season 1, and since we assume that maybe the Atrociraptor hasn't quite made his way to Africa, that means that every single scene with Red the Atrociraptor probably takes place during the events of Season 1. But it is quite obvious that he is in the same facility that Brooklyn is currently in as well. So maybe he has orders to hunt down Brooklyn and is stopping at nothing until she is dead. But this seems to be more of a backstory to Season 2 than taking place during Season 2. But for now, those are all 15 images analysed that we got that are brand new. I know people are saying that there are some other new images, like 5 more new images that released, but those have been released over the past 2 or 3 weeks now, so they aren't exactly brand new to this channel. We've already covered those ones in previous videos if you want to go check those out as well. But either way, these 15 official brand new images are very very cool nonetheless. So yeah, just one week to go now until Chaos Theory Season 2 and I'm very excited. Hopefully we will start to get some clips maybe. Hopefully Friday, but if not, definitely start in Monday because this is a great way to tease what's to come in Season 2 and to get people even more excited and to remember the date, the 17th of October. Not the 18th, which should really be the release date since they've all typically released on a Friday. But either way, they decided to do something different this time around, so fair play to them. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below regarding these 15 new images. What do you think the story and plotline is going to be here? What do you think about these specific images with Zayna, Brooklyn and Red? Because I feel as though there's a lot of story to tell here. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to also subscribe if you're new around here and want more Jurassic content. And to help us reach 250,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hi, you. Did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.